What is a man? A man is the representative of God on earth. And why do you think we don't have enough of that anymore? Because Satan's agenda. And what's his agenda? To change that. He want God off the face of the earth. He don't want no representatives of God on earth. How is he changing it? By distracting them. Absolutely. By distracting Seducing them. Seducing them, deceiving them. Right, right. Uh, d- d- That's why it's this big push for social media. That's a distraction. Are you into social media? Not really. You're not, you don't look like you would be. I don't. I use it to promote my principles, what I believe in. Right. But other than that, no. And, and why not? Because I know the agenda. Oh, you do? Right. You were telling me earlier that you were a uh, a rapper. When I first met you, or just before I met you, I guess. Yeah. You were a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see you trying to do that because when I met you, you had the gold chains, you had the earrings. Remember the earrings? Yeah. And you, ha- why did you take the earrings off? Because it wasn't nothing masculine about it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people how you wore the earrings out here, and I met you for the first time, and I'm like, why are you wearing earrings? Yeah. Tell them about it. You asked me, was I trying to attract men? <laughs> and you know that was a hell no, so <laughs> they had to come out. And you took them off that same... Immediately. <laughs> Before you got it out your mouth good. <laughs> <laughs> you have had never heard before that women adorn themselves with earrings and perfume and long, beautiful hair and because they are trying to attract men. And that men who does that are doing what women do, so it looked like they were trying to attract men too. You had not heard that before? No, nah, n- not the part about the men wearing them. <laughs> like, no. Nah. And, 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 and what'd you do with your earrings? I threw them. You threw them away? Threw them down somewhere, wherever <laughs> they went. I threw them. <laughs> Isn't that amazing, sir? Because <laughs> spiritually, when I heard it, I couldn't even, it wasn't no debate, no question and about no. it. Like, speak, because. I remember, like, I always had trouble with it anyway because I, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wearing earrings, that's not, it just don't feel, it don't really feel manly, but, you know, you, I was just caught up in my appearance. Right. So I just felt like it enhanced my appearance or whatever, but I never really, just the whole art of putting it on, and, you know, know. that don't even really. When I see guys, I, I demonstrate how they put, I'm like, are you, like, standing in the mirror in the morning, rocking and saying, oh, I'm putting on my earrings? It seemed feminine to even have to put earrings on. Right, right. <laughs> so I imagine most guys probably get the kind that they don't really have to just take out. You just get them and, and leave them in. Or because they're trying to avoid that feminine feeling? Yeah, just not really. I mean, you just, you don't really, that's not just part of your everyday getting ready, putting on your earrings. You just leave them in and just whatever. They just there. I want to uh, take some call, but I first got to ask, um, how do you, being a man, deal with your mother now? With love, patience, and, understanding. And so you're like able to speak up and correct her oh, and yeah. do all that stuff. Well, I always been I always been like that with my mom. Yeah. Does she accept it? Yeah. She doesn't. That's why I've her? always been like that because she always she kind of pulled it out of me at a young age. Oh yeah. Yeah. She was like my opinion always mattered a lot to her when you were growing up. Right. Oh good. Right. She respected your opinion. Yeah. Even when you correct her. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Christina, good morning. You're on with Marquise. Okay. Jesse, how do you pronounce his name? Marquise. Marquise. Okay. Thank you. So I finally got my computer working. I can visually see you and your guest. Oh, yeah. Looking at him. Yeah. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) Initially looking at him, you know, you can't judge a book by the cover, the beard, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the, the chain, the old navy, the hat. You know, you, Marquis, are off the chart. You're off the chart. As a white woman, standing here looking at you and hearing the things you say, it is incredible. It is so refreshing to hear this. I absolutely wish you all the best in your life. Thank you. You Thank are an you. inspiration. I, I really, really do admire you. I, I appreciate that you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
You're it's right about it. It's, it's beautiful to hear what you say. And I, I can't imagine what you've been through, but here you are. And, um, you know, really quick, I, I just wanted to get your take on, I have been questioning myself. I've been taught about Christ my whole life. And, you know, uh, I, I really was coming to that conclusion that at some point you just have to believe and that's it. There's no explanation. Would you agree? Right. Exactly. Yeah. And you have you have I to mean, have a totally independent experience with him. Outside of the church, outside of your parents, outside, outside of, of everything, whatever. outside of everything, totally independent, you and him. That's why he say be still and know. And to know is to have a relationship. Yeah. Yeah, and I I thought about what you said. At some point, you just come to that, and then you forgive all the people who ever tried to teach you. <laughs> right. You have to. You have to. Yeah, you have to go beyond what you've been taught. Huh? Right. Yeah. Right. Because you have. Yeah. You don't. You you don't really know how much effort they genuinely put into their walk, and the walk is is based according to that what you put in it. If if you're not applying your full effort to it, then you won't really experience what it is that he has for you. I'm going to take that. You know what, man? God bless you, really. Thank Keep you. Up the Same good work, to you. Okay? Bless you, too. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Thank Christina. You. Good to hear from you. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Uh, Rick, we can't get to you. The other callers, I'm sorry. We're totally out of time. That was fun, huh? Oh, yeah. You had fun? We need more time, man. I know. Well, that's how we have you on for two hours. Right. All right. Have a good day, folks, and watch your backs out there.